What's going on, West Virginia? How you doing? Woo! Hey, ladies, don't worry. You can buy my balls. They're made of chocolate if you're interested. <laughs> West Virginia, so I wore this flannel. I figure I'll wear this or I'll ruin some women's relationship with their dads tonight, so I don't know which one comes first. You all decide to depending on how you laugh. You know what? Ever since I dislocated my big toe, people have been asking me, you know, what happened? Why did I wear this boot? So I just tell people this is a special Nike boot that gives me cushion when I take a knee during the national anthem. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You know, and I got a Nike sticker. You're welcome, people. In the for you guys. Quick question, who said they smoke pot in here? That's right. You know how I like smoking pot? You come up with a lot of conspiracies. My latest one is, is it a coincidence that aliens usually abduct white people? I think I figured out why, I'm telling y'all. Black people made up aliens just to fuck with white people. I mean, I'm serious, think about it. What are aliens known for? Come around at night, usually targeting one group of people, and you really never know what they look like. Now what's the clan known for? <laughs> it's okay guys. All it took me was one blunt, a bag of burritos, and some coconut water to figure it out. <laughs> You're all white, so I know you like coconut water. I figure I get a laugh. <laughs> laugh out of that one. But like I said, my last name is Bullet. I actually have a rather interesting story about my last name. You know, when I was in elementary school, uh, we took a field trip to Frankfort, Kentucky. You know, just to learn about Kentucky's government. And then the field trip, we got to write the governor and ask him any question we want. Well, I took the liberty to write, Dear Governor, my name's Aaron Bullitt. Yes, Bullitt, spelled exactly like the county. I read this history book that the man that found that county owned slaves. But then I also read that when the slaves are free, they got 40 acres in a mule. So, uh, what's my mail again? Gonna get that. <laughs> you know, I haven't heard anything back yet, so I'm getting get my reparations one more acre at a time. <laughs> Some of y'all look like good reparations tonight, I can see it. We said if anybody wants a, a Starbucks gift card and disappoint their dad on Thanksgiving, now please give me a call. It's what I do, it's my favorite. <laughs> you know, I'm turning 25 this year and it's very interesting because I've seen a lot of things in my life. You know, I, when I was growing up, I saw things like Facebook, GPS, smartphones. But for me, the day I knew our society was advancing, it's when the McGriddle sandwich came out. <laughs> Yo, I was a fat kid, so I'm like, you tell me right now. I can get syrup already in my pancakes, and you made my whole breakfast into one sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like cut my eating time in half, but you make childhood obesity convenient. Thank you, McDonald's. <laughs> Appreciate that. You know, actually, it's funny since I'm up here. You know what I've always wanted to be ever since I was a kid? is an R&B singer. Yeah. Cause like your whole job is just being smooth. I would love to have the kind of career I can walk into anyone and be like, excuse me miss, what's your name? <laughs> Where are you from? Can I come by? And I know they are. And possibly, can I take you out tonight? You know, to the movies, to the park. And I'll make sure I have you home before it starts. So you let me know, can I take you out tonight? That's a real song, by the way. <laughs> Shit, that so smart. I might use that one of y'all later tonight. Shit, <laughs> you don't even know. Well, you know what? I'm almost out of here, but I know in the news we've been using a lot, losing a lot of celebrities lately. And I just want to talk about someone that met like near and dear in my heart. I mean, this person crossed all kinds of racial borders, inspired millions of people to be themselves, and even accomplished feats that no one thought was possible. That's right, folks. I'm talking about Joe Jackson. <laughs> or Michael Jackson, that you're confused. Some of you white people don't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, think about it. Without, my, without his dad, he would have not been the person that he was. Has anyone ever considered that Michael Jackson's dance moves and him just avoiding an ass whooping? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. As soon as he gets you, you just slap. Sorry, Dad. I won't miss this step again. <laughs> <laughs> or Michael Jackson's ad lives. When he's like, ooh, you think he made that shit up? <laughs> mm -mm, that's an ass whooping sound. <laughs> I'm getting my ass beat. Well, my name is Aaron Boyle. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys.